Time to play with some clay. Alright, I've started by putting on the ribbons. And I'm doing the ribbons out of monster clay. Because again, it's uh, I can go a lot thinner on it and it holds its shape a lot better. So that's the reason why. I can't really video this part because it's too hard to get this uh, all in camera. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and uh, show you what I did. All right, I made a new shield out of uh, monster clay as well. Uh, because it holds its shape better, and I can put a design into it, it'll go in a lot better than what I had before. So, um, I'm just going to take a look at this and see how I like this. I don't know. I just don't know. I gotta make the feathers too. And I'm deciding whether I wanna make them out of monster clay or what. I probably will make them out of monster clay. But I got a tie on a ribbon tie on the end of his uh scalp lock and uh on the end of his uh braids. Now I need to put his gun or shot pouch on him and uh, his powder horn and so I've got to figure out where I'm going to put those and how they're going to look. Alright, I've got the pouch on and, uh, and the powder horn. i got to put the straps for both on and uh, Got to figure this out. Okay, I'm going to make the straps out of uh, monster clay as well. I ran this through the uh, pasta machine real thin, so I've got the strap material made. I just got to cut it. All right, I've got the uh, straps cut for the uh, pouch. Now I got to move the braid out of the way so that I can wrap it around. Delicate work. Whoop. No, that didn't work out too well. All right. Now I got to take the strap, which has got to be the same width at the bottom as it is on the top, and attach it to the uh, pouch. Wrap it around. That's got to go underneath the horn. I'll put the horn on after I get done doing this.
Now I'm going to fill in underneath that strap because I got to have it filled in. Okay, I'm going to have to try to fill in behind that ribbon because it's way too thin to just hang by itself. I moved the uh, scalp lock to the back of his neck instead of in the front of, you know, swinging over his shoulder. And uh, I think that looks better. And I've got to finish this. Uh, I get rid of that little nodule right there. Anyway, I'm just uh, working on his breast here.
I just got this in the mail. It's Plastilina Sergeant Art. Hmm. I wanted to try it out. I noticed another sculptor using it, and it was looked like great stuff. So I thought I'd order one. This wasn't cheap. It was about a two-pound block, and it cost. I remember about 11 bucks or something like that, but that's, I don't know what it costs. I can't remember. I ordered it about a week ago and just got it. I wanted to see what kind of a clay it was. Feels good. Feels just like this clay does when it's warm. I like the color. I like terracotta color. Well, I'll try that sometime. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you see what I got. And uh, maybe have you look it up on the web and try out a block of it yourself. It's uh, out of Pennsylvania. Hazelton. So it's U.S. made www.sergeantart.com Two pounds of terracotta. It's made in Thailand? Wow. Hmm. I stopped off in Kuala Lumpur, Thailand on the way to Jakarta to do a one-man show in Jakarta, Indonesia back in 1991, I think it was, yeah, February of 1991. Hmm, interesting it was made over there. All right, enough of that. All right, I'm, I've got the shield on and I've got the design on the shield. It's rounder than the other shield was. Let's see if I can find the other shield. I can't. Anyway, I'm going to keep working on this piece. I'm not recording a lot of it because it's really hard to record what I'm doing because it's tight little holes that I'm filling. And, uh, it's hard to record that because my hand or my head's going to be in the way and it's just not worth uh trying to set up a camera angle oh here's the old shield yeah about the same size just just rounder this one was oblong so anyway set that aside so I'm not recording a lot of this, and uh, I'm going to keep working on this, and it's about all I'm going to be able to do today. Um, I'll work on feathers maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I've got uh, a couple coming in from out of state. Um, the gentleman bought one of my bronzes, and he's going to be picking it up from here. Uh, a piece called Sweetgrass. And... Uh, Put a picture up here of it. All right, I'm going to continue working on this uh, today, and uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Sorry, there's just not much to see. <laughs> it's just one of those uh, things, and uh, 
takes a lot of filling in to do a sculpture and have it come out to where you can cast it. I've got to fill in behind the the uh, strap right there. I got a hole right back in here between the uh, hair and his body. And it, it, the whole deal is, is trying to make it look like it's not filled in. Um, and that's the hard part. I'm thinking about putting a scarf around his neck because they did wear scarves uh, in case there was a dust storm or something like that. They could put it up around their mouth uh, and nose, just like the cowboys. Uh, so, if you look at some of the older pictures, you'll see a lot of the Plains Indians wore scarves. All right. And it'll add a little bit more to it, I think. Just a little more design and stuff. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. And so, all right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.